Okay, I think this is okay. Yo, okay, so my flight leaves at 7 a.m. tomorrow, and it is like 10 a.m., and I haven't started packing a thing. Well, okay, that's kind of a lie. One and a half of my costumes are already in Salt Lake, but um, that's just because Lexi left like two weeks early because she works at a convention, so she drove them out for me. But the rest of my stuff has just been kind of sitting on my bed for like the last month, and um, it'd really be nice to like get it off of my bed. So, also this is like the weirdest freaking angle ever. I don't know why I set up the angle like this. Actually, I do know it's because everything is a mess and I need to clean stuff up and I'm just having like the busiest two months of my entire life all right in a row while also working in reality TV. So, <sighs> okay. First things first, when packing for a convention, make a, like literally an itemized list of each of your costumes and all of the items that you need for it, even like specific makeup palettes that you use, shoes, what socks you're gonna need, what underwear you're gonna need. Like you have to think about all of it. Okay, so I already did that for three of the costumes, but um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear three of those costumes. One of them I don't think I'll be fully comfortable in, so it's probably out. Um, but I'm gonna take it anyways, just in case I'm like feeling it day of. The other one I'm missing the wig for. I'm hoping the wig is in Salt Lake. If it's not, then I'm screwed. <laughs> but I'm taking four costumes. So one of them is already packed and out there in Salt Lake. Um, the other three, I have a majority of the pieces here. But let me grab my, my itemized lists. That's my to-do list. You don't need to see my 17 to-do lists. Okay, so I made a very general list of just stuff that I'm gonna need. So it's like gel, hairspray, little elastics, wig caps. Top stick is, um, it's toupee tape and it's fantastic, I love it. Deodorant, makeup, and then I have like gray eyeshadow, foundation, dark eyebrow shadow, like just the really specific stuff that I know I'm gonna need. And then, so this is the costume that's probably gonna be out, but I have roller skate Barbie. I bought the Spirit Halloween one, so the costume is here. So my list says bodysuit, check. Wig, the wig is in the garage, but also the wig is maybe a question mark because I was thinking about just using my natural hair. Okay, wig. Visor, visor is a check. Um, it needs steamed because I undid the embroidery of the Barbie logo on it and it left just little holes, but I should be able to just steam those out. It was so easy to do. Just, you know, a cute little tip. Okay. Bodysuit, visor, elbow and knee pads are still in the packaging and everything else is probably gonna go back in the packaging um, minus like the cardboard. So it'll go in my suitcase easier. And then also it just keeps all the pieces together. Elbow pads and knee pads and the earrings are in the same bag. And then the knee pack. And then the vans went in the suitcase. I just took white vans. I painted them to kind of replicate the look of the roller skates because you, uh, I know you can't wear roller skates in this convention. So I used Angela's in neon and it was literally so neon and perfect. And then I used just a little bit of acrylic paint as trim. I should have probably done it in Angela's because this stuff is fantastic, but I didn't feel like buying more than one bottle. And I thought I was gonna need like multiple of these, but then it was, it's always so pigmented, it's fantastic. So that is Roller Skate Barbie. We have all the pieces for that. And I'm gonna like collect them and put them in a pile and then check them off again as I'm packing them. And then Birds of Prey Harley shirt. So that's the one with the white shirt. So this one I have multiple pieces for, like multiple iterations of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna bring all of the iterations because I made most of this myself years ago. Okay, but we have shorts, check. Pink sports bra, I have this new one and my original one. I'm gonna take both and then decide day of which one I wanna wear probably. Cause I wore this one all the time with it. And then this one I made more recently. Um, so it's like, it's not even finished, but it's more screen accurate. Okay, suspenders. I also have two iterations of the suspenders. So 
These are the ones from Spirit Halloween. Um, and then these are ones that I think I that I made. So I'm gonna take both again and decide day of. Suspenders. White shirt. Got it? Okay, so shorts. Shorts, pink sports bra, suspenders, white shirt. Okay, this is the really interesting part. Okay. The rings and the earrings, I have them all bagged up. I used to have them separated by ear and hand, but um, I don't anymore, I guess. So I have those. Okay, and then I need Bruce dog tag necklace. The shoes already went out. And then I have all of my new tattoos that I printed and I already cut them out. And they're also in this bag. I'm probably gonna switch the necklaces to a different bag or the jewelry to a different bag so that the um, tattoos don't get like bent and weird and stuff. I'm also probably gonna put this bag in like a folder. I have a folder that I'll be taking with other stuff. Necklaces, so I'm taking the Bruce necklace and then I'm also taking the suits necklace as well as the J necklace in case I feel like changing or doing other stuff because so many of the outfits are so close. Necklaces in bag. Rings and earrings going in the same bag. Ta-da! Okay, checked off. And then last but not least is belt. Sweet. Okay, we checked off Barbie, Birds of Prey, and then... Okay, the Suicide Squad red dress. Okay, so the dress, the petticoat, and the things I need to make the arm pieces are already out there. Um, combat boots, I'm gonna wear to the airport, but I have to switch out the laces for black laces. I'm just wearing like my everyday Doc Martens that I literally wear every day, but I'm taking out the rainbow laces and putting in black laces. So I'll wear those to the airport so I don't have to worry about packing those. And then the, okay, the wig, I just need to pack the extension pieces. Okay, wait, so I'm gonna update my list. Hair extensions, and then I need black hair ties. And then I also need, um, I need hand sewing supplies because I'm gonna be doing some sewing on the dress day of. I need red and black. And then I also want to bring um, more hook and eyes too, just in case. I know this con always has a cosplay repair, but I'm gonna be probably doing a lot more than just repairing. I'm gonna be finishing the costume like in the hotel room morning of. There's my updated list. Okay, that's all good. Oh, and then um, I'm just gonna do it on the back of a different one. But one of the costumes I'm adding was the one that I wore to Oogie Boogie Bash the other day, which you're gonna see that vlog a lot later. You probably won't see it until closer to Halloween, I think. But I wore Chrissy from Stranger Things to Oogie Boogie and I loved it more than I thought I would. Okay, so we're gonna go through making the list for this one. So I need the cheer uniform, which is the top and the skirt. And then I also need white socks, white sneakers, which I'm gonna steal my sister's because I don't own any. Okay, cheer uniform, top, skirt, white socks, white sneakers. I need her 86 necklace, which I actually have no idea where I put that. I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm gonna have to find it. It's probably, I have this like pile of jewelry on my desk, so that's probably where it is. Okay, 86 necklace, um, jacket. I actually got a new jacket because I accidentally bought a children's jacket. <laughs> okay, something just changed. My SD card just ran out of space, so I had to switch it out, and then my camera decided I wanted to fall over. Okay, I was saying I got a new jacket because the one that I bought accidentally was a kid's jacket, and that's why it didn't fit. The sleeves were, like, too short by, like, this much, and I was like, this is so weird, but whatever. Cheer uniform. Wig. I need the wig. And I also need hair styling tools, because it's a human hair wig. Hair styling tools. And the ponytail, like, faded immediately because I tried to style it like I would a synthetic wig, and it just didn't hold because it was human hair. 
but I think that is everything checked off. Um, so now I'm just going to pack everything in their bags and go from there. I think the only thing that might not be in a bag is like the Harley stuff, or I might honestly try to find a bag for it. And then we're going to go through like the other stuff that I use for conventions that I like can't live without. And we, oh yeah, we have to remake my con go bag because like there's stuff in it that I need and stuff in it that I don't. Oh, and I also need to find more business cards. Um, I need to find my personal ones because I'm definitely doing business. There, I gotta market myself this year because of this, because of this exact reason. Oh, I also want to pack. Okay, wait, let me make a list for this would be easier if I was actually like writing in this notebook that I'm holding in my hand instead of papers on top of it. But I need my all my vlog stuff. Camera, extra SD cards, charger, laptop, and cord. Because I have gone somewhere without my laptop cord before. Tripods, plural. Is that it? I'm just going to put business cards on this one. I think that's it for this list. I'm going to actually like start packing and stop like um, stalling by vlogging. You feel me? Okay. Packing time, packing time. Okay. For the tattoos, I'm gonna put them in this folder that I have that is so Boilers. So this is basically my content calendar. Um, I have like weekly and monthly content schedules that I've made. Yeah, so it's like, which days I'm posting what? Yada, yada, yada. Which days I'm editing and all the nonsense. But I have, I have these for Lexi. They need to go. And then I'm also gonna put this bag of my tattoos in here. And it's gonna go in my carry-on. Okay, I'm not gonna honestly touch the wig until it's going on my head again. But I have the hairnet. So I'm gonna wrap the wig in this and then pack it back in the original bag it came in. And I'm probably gonna bring like these two curlers. I maybe actually will wrap the bangs, the bang side pieces in them to keep them happy. But I think that the rest of the bangs will hold, I'm hoping. Cause I can't style bangs for the life of me on my own head. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I had to wait for my laundry to be done so that I could get the shorts and the socks for the Chrissy costume. And then I also added the wigs into each of their receptive, respective bags along with that. So I'm gonna attempt to put like the costumes all on one side so I can put clothes on the other side. It's supposed to be like 60 and rainy on Friday. So I do wanna pack some like warmer stuff I can wear like the jacket on the plane, but like the rest of it, I want to be able to pack like warmer stuff for when I'm not at war like warmer and comfy stuff for when I'm not at the con. Cause my suitcases always just end up being full of costumes. So I'm going to try to fit all the costumes on this side and then like clothes and stuff on this side. And maybe I can even get my makeup bag on this side. But if I can't, then I can put it in my backpack and that'll be fine. So... <laughs> Well, you know. <laughs> well, that's full. Egg. And then my costume. There's just so much excess air. You feel me? Okay. I'm actually gonna tuck these. I think this is the belt that I normally wear with this. Like that. 
And then actually the jewelry so it doesn't get smashed, I'm gonna put in my backpack. This stupid timer light. <laughs> Right, okay, but I have this old wig bag, um, and I put, like, I turned this into my Congo bag, so it has, like, all the stuff that was in my Congo bag, plus, like, some new stuff, like, new wig caps, um, little elastics, hair clips, like, combs, because I'm going to have to do my own hair, as well as styling some other wigs. So that is going to go on this side, probably. Oh, I'm going to not have room for my own clothes, bro. Okay. I'm going to pack my regular clothes in. You don't need to see that. Okay, I have an excess of lashes and lash glue. And then I have all of my makeup and anything that I could think of to need. Plus all of my, like, daily drivers. Along with all of the palettes that I know I'm going to need. This one's great for cosplay. This one is fantastic for harley because of all the grays yada 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 and then this one just has like the perfect blue for chrissy and also like it you can't even tell because the batteries are like literally dead but it lights up so that's great for getting ready and then i also have this and my laptop and i'm super into disposable cameras right now so this one's completely empty and then i have one um already in my backpack that's like 30 it's got like it's probably got like 10 more photos on it so can't forget my disposables i'm super into those right now they're so cute but i'm pretty sure all of this is gonna have to go in my backpack because my bag is so full like one sec yeah my bag is so full like my favorite jacket doesn't even fit i can maybe fit the makeup brushes here but i'm definitely gonna have to rethink my plain outfit for tomorrow if i want to bring my favorite hoodie which is always how it works. My bag is always too full for my favorite hoodie. So then I wear it on the plane. Okay, but I think that's like pretty much all of the packing now. Really? Okay, um, my apologies if everything is blown out. I think it'll be worse if I'm like actually facing my desk because I don't want to close my blinds. I'm enjoying the little like bit of natural light coming in it's making the room really bright but i think that's it for this video i hope this was like a little helpful tutorial it actually isn't normally how i pack for conventions at all um but i've also only ever flown to one other convention and i was flying all the way to nashville for con of thrones and um it was a lot more stuff to pack like i think we checked two big bags of all of the costumes um but it's just like a nice little like all of my little tricks of like you know having the list for each cosplay of what exact items you need and obviously it's different if you have a lot of props and stuff which i don't have this time but um it's always helpful to like have pictures of of how everything goes together and what you need exactly and yada 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 and then also like keeping them all backed up separately also helps but i hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did i i like seeing the likes a lot it always brightens my day. You can comment if you have any statements or questions. I don't know. I don't know what do people talk about in the comments. Usually it's just a lot of mean folks that I laugh at. <laughs> oh my god. Subscribe if you would like to. It literally costs you nothing. You can always change your mind and unsubscribe later. It is free. Yeah, I guess that's it. I have to edit this video now. Um, wish me luck on this edit, man. I'm really gonna need it. I'm gonna need it today. Okay.